In fourth grade, when we get to converting measurement units, students will use multiplication to convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit in the same system of measurement. So when we see this word convert, it just means to write an equivalent measurement with a different unit. So it takes up the same amount of space, we're just using a different measurement unit, so we're changing from one unit to another unit. So if we have how many quarts are in three gallons, students are always given the initial conversion. So I have one gallon equals four quarts. In my word problem, I have my three gallons. So three gallons gives me how many quarts? Again, we're using multiplication because this one group has four quarts. We now have three times as many. We have three more groups. So I would have to use the equation three times four to figure out how many quarts I have. And I know three times four gives me 12. So for this conversion, 12 quarts is equivalent to my three gallons. How many pints are in six quarts? So again, I'm starting with six quarts. Here's my initial conversion, so one quart equals two pints. So underneath, I can add my six quarts equals how many pints? That's what we are trying to figure out. Again, one group has two pints. I now have six times as many. I have six groups of two to figure out how many pints I have. I know six times two gives us 12 again. So I would have a total of 12 pints. Six quarts is equivalent to 12 pints. Our last example, how many fluid ounces are in four cups? I have initial conversion of one cup equals eight fluid ounces. I'm starting with four cups. Four cups equals how many fluid ounces? Again, I have four times as many as our initial conversion because one group has eight fluid ounces. I now have four groups. So I'm going to take my eight fluid ounces. I'm going to multiply it by four. I know eight times four gives me 32. So four cups is equivalent to 32 fluid ounces. Students will also do some conversion using time. So here we have a word problem that will require us to convert from minutes to seconds in order to answer our problem. Lydia heard the TV announcer say, we'll be back in 240 seconds. It takes Lydia five minutes to wash the dishes. Does Lydia have enough time to wash dishes during the break? So again, I have 240 seconds and then I have five minutes. It's asking us if she has enough time to wash the dishes during this commercial break. So I know the commercial break is 240 seconds long. However, it takes her five minutes to wash the dishes. I need to take this five minutes and convert it to seconds so I can compare the two times a little easier. So here's my initial conversion. One minute equals 60 seconds. It takes Lydia five minutes to wash the dishes and we need to figure out how many seconds that is. So again, I have one group with 60 seconds. I now have five minutes. I have five times the amount of seconds in this five minutes. So I can take my 60 and I can multiply it by my five groups and my five minutes. So students can use their zeros trick so they can cover up that zero. They know six times five gives them 30, and then add that zero back on to give us 300 seconds. Students could also use repeated addition. They could take that 60, and they could add it together five times to also give them the same answer of 300 seconds.